Because the service now world is uh, moving to San Diego version, and uh, in the San Diego version, uh, service now is introduced a new UI. They are uh, naming it as Polaris View or uh, Next Experience UI. Okay, there are so many videos are coming in YouTube. They are very very nice videos, and if you want to go through it, you can go through the videos. They are giving very nice uh, information about those videos and uh, <coughs> about the view and uh, the features, everything, navigation things and all. So, but uh, I would like to cover few things here in this video where uh, it will be helpful for administrators and uh, uh, developers. What I'm going to cover in this video is, first of all, uh, what is Polaris View? How it is? How it looks like? Okay, and uh, we will. I will be covering few things like uh, how to enable it or disable it. Let's say Polaris View looks like this, and uh, we have so many years we traveled with UA16 and maybe in our organization if we don't want to go for Polaris view how to set back to normal UA16 view okay so how to set back in instance level that is one thing we can cover and second thing is uh, at user level so like let's say it in, in instance level we have Polaris view but uh, in user level we want to restrict for only specific users so then in that case how we can do it and the last thing is we have an option in normal uh, ua15 ua16 view says you can shift to different different views but uh, if i want to have the polaris view option also like let's say i am in ua16 i want to i want to shift to polaris view or i want to shift back to ua15 or ua16 view okay is there any option for that so these things i would like to cover in this video hope it will be very very helpful for administrators and because the platforms are migrating to <coughs> uh, San Diego version and especially the Polaris view, the new experience UI. Okay, so we all knew that service now till last version of service now Paris. Okay, we have UA16 and this is how we see the page. And we also have one more uh, UI that is called UI15. So UI15 was very initial uh, UI where service now introduced and uh, this is how the ui 15 looks like and it is like a kind of uh, sharepoint view or it's a lighter view where it loads uh, with the less color less graphics and less cosmetics okay uh, at uh, geneva version maybe 2015 okay 2015 uh, second quarter like last release they released a version they released a ui version called ui 16. so ui 16 is a new version that time with geneva and uh, it have more coloring more coloring more graphics more css more html uh, things and uh, the color main like mainly like the graphics color it have a more lavish look okay so after geneva till rome okay after geneva till rome we had uh, ui16 okay which is uh, which is a very 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 uh, very useful uh, ui but now they are coming with a new experience ui that is called polaris so going forward from San Diego, uh, service now instances will be using this particular view, okay? And the view will will be looking like this. Okay, it looks very uh, more cosmetic, and you don't be having a navigator, so it is very very a lighter one. And uh, people are giving feedbacks that compared to navigator, this particular view is more uh, faster also. Okay, so let's say I want to search incident, so I can simply type here so that the left pane will not occupy, and you can get the same functionality here. So this is how the Polaris view looks like, and this is the basic introduction. If we want to go deeper, maybe you can uh, go for release notes to read it in our uh, YouTube videos. Okay, but here in this video, first thing what we cover is <coughs> Polaris view, how it looks like. Yeah, we covered it. So this is how the Polaris view looks like. Okay. they added the options here like uh, all this is like a navigator and favorites okay this is how the favorites are on history okay if you see the same thing in ui ui16 so we have three tabs here this is navigator this is uh, favorites and this is history okay so this is one and this is second one this is how polaris view will look like okay now if you see the second part <coughs> okay i don't want first requirement like let's say first requirement i don't want polaris view polaris ui in my instance okay in our company okay they felt like they are very much comfortable with ui16 and they don't want to go for polaris so after san diego upgrade i want to disable the polaris view how i can disable it okay so first thing is there is a system property so just go to system properties 
okay in the system properties there is a property with polaris <coughs> Okay. So this particular system property will enable or disable. So by default, now it is enabled because the value is true. If I say disable means I need to set it to false. If you set it to false and then save it, we are uh, disabling the Polaris view, okay, new experience UI in the instance. So if you just disable it, let it save. Yeah. And now if you try the instance, okay, it will be loading with UI 16. right so see here uh, the polaris view is disabled okay with the use of this property so first note is this property value we need to set it to false if you want to disable okay by default it will be enabled so now we disabled it okay so uh, yes this is the first thing i am enabling again to show some more functionalities okay <coughs> Right, so now I am enabling again and uh, let's see the same thing how it loads now. <clears throat> yeah, so the value of system property is true now and the Polaris view came back. It is coming back. It is UA Classic Param target. So it is coming back. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yes so the first requirement for us is how to enable or disable the polaris view on instance level okay now the second requirement is how to hide the polaris view for all users so i don't want to touch the uh, <clears throat> i don't want to touch this particular property okay let it be true but i want to set this polaris view half for all the users Okay, for that we have something called user settings, user preferences. In user preferences also we can set this, we can control it. Okay, if you go to user preferences and get one user preference with Polaris name. <coughs> okay, so this particular user preference right now, okay, it is true. That means it is available and users is blank here. Okay, so that means it is true for every user. Okay, now if I say false, if I say false and then save, this particular user preference, what it will do is, it will set the view false for every user of the organization, means instance. So now I set it to false from user preference and then I am loading this particular instance again. So, uh, officially like, yeah, so I set the user preference to false here. That means it disabled or enabled, it disabled the Polaris view for all the users. Okay, in instance level, it is true, but in users level, all users level, okay, we made it as false. Okay, this is the second way you can set the Polaris view to false. Okay, now the important point here is users. Users is blank, that means it applies to every user. Okay, this is the first thing. And now, I'm setting it to true again. So just see here, it, it came back to uh, UI 16, fine. Now I am setting the user preference to true again to get the Polaris view again. Okay, now just refresh again. Yeah, I got the Polaris view. Now, let's say in our organization, we have the Polaris view enabled, but few people came and say, I don't want Polaris view. Okay, so how to disable Polaris view for a specific list of users. So this is uh, for all the users. If you want to disable for all the users, you can uh, use this user, user preference to off. Okay, but if it is true, user preference is true, it is available for everyone, but I want to uh, keep this Polaris view false for only one user. Let's say we have uh, Abraham Lincoln, okay, Abel Tutor. These are the users. I want to make the Polaris view half for one specific user. So how we need to do is come to this property, user preference, okay, take a copy. <coughs> so insert and stay. So it creates a new user preference. Okay, it created it. Maybe if we want to check it, just check it. If 
so go to user, user preference again we should have two here right so we should get now two okay so now we just created one copy so take this copy and make it false okay this is one important thing and now for which user okay select the user this is very important so our intention is to make the polaris view half or disable for abraham lincoln so what we did is we copied the user's preference as a cop one more copy in certain stay and then we given the name and we made it to false so save the user preference yeah so what i did is <coughs> i just copied a new user preference for abraham lincoln and this is the uh, one okay here i made the value is false that means we are disabling the user uh, we are disabling the profile yeah that means we are disabling the polaris view for this user okay the important thing here is we need to uncheck the system okay so you uncheck it and then save it so once you save it let's try okay how it works so here if you go back to user preference you have two user preferences one is true and this is for all because we didn't select any user here and it is system true okay and there is another for abraham lincoln which is false and system also false so now if you go to this user the polaris view should not be there for this user okay let's try this so i am here okay i am going to this uh, user abraham lincoln okay and the expectation is he should get ui16 and polaris view should be disabled for him so i'm just loading for abraham lincoln now yeah so now it is the system is impersonated with abraham lincoln and he have ui16 because for him the user preference set to false okay and now check with some other user i go with other user that is maybe we can take ability tutor yeah i'm just go to, i'll just go to ability tutor so who is another user of the system so for him there is no user preference set to false so he should get polaris view because he belongs to all and for all this one is set to true okay so he belongs to here and he belongs to also system so he belongs to this particular user preference so he got this polaris view so this is how you can control the polaris view disable or enable for specific users let's say i have five users i want to disable polaris view for five separate users so do we need to just open the plain one or this one and say insert and stay and then map the user names properly here so that for them uh, <coughs> yeah for them uh, the yeah so for them the polaris view will be disabled so this is how we can achieve this particular thing how to hide polaris view for a specific list of user okay so copy the user preference and make the field make the value false and select the user okay and last option last requirement for us is okay how i can give an option see here uh, generally this is how uh, yeah okay so this is how generally we we have the polaris view okay and if you go to ua15 or UA, uh, if you go to uh, a non san diego version this one is a, uh, this one is not a san diego version it's a cubic version okay so here we have an option if you go to gear button you have switch between uis okay, i can go to ua15 or i can shift back to ui16 but in our organization once we move to san diego okay here we may need to give the same kind of option okay people can use either 16 or either 15 or san diego ui san diego ui is polaris view so how to give this kind of option how to give option to users so that they can shift between uis okay so here normally the care button is under preferences okay and here it will show okay this is how this same button here it shows like this okay but we don't have any option here to shift between the uh us okay so for that we have a system property okay the system property is name this one okay by default sometimes you don't see the system property in that case you not you need to copy the system property name and you need to set it to false by default the value is false okay so now what i want to do is i want to make it enabled so i will make it to true 
okay once i make it to true right so once i make it to true and then go to this same preferences the system will provide you an option to shift between the uis so if you go to preferences okay and go to display okay so see here we have an option earlier this option is not the turn off next experience next experience is polar polaris view so if you say turn on you on it if you want to off it yeah you can yeah it's now on you it's now off okay using the preferences you off that particular option polaris view option now if you want to on it so here you got it so on it so now the user have three three options to go for you can go for ui15 you can go for ui16 or you can also go for polaris view so this way you can uh, give an option to users so whatever they are comfortable with okay they can choose the right ui and they can proceed with their work so this is all about the main settings there are so many properties defined by service now okay and uh, you can you can change the color of it you can uh, change the labels everything you can do with respect to polaris headers you can do okay so they are all little uh, deeper and this this concept is mainly like for like how to give the option or how to like either you can suppress that option in on in, uh, instance level or all users level or specific users level or you can use this option for users to so that they can shift between the uis okay hope this video will be helpful for many administrators who are migrating uh, your instances to san diego okay so thank you thanks for watching <clears throat>